Wow. Just in time. Wow. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Happy Friday and welcome to our Beadbox third anniversary celebration. Our birthday party. Woo That's what I, it's the birthday. <laughs> Is it our birthday party? Is it the boxes? It's all of it. <laughs> Someone does have the stream or you have the stream open. Someone has the stream. I'm here. Is anyone else hearing a... It's just us. You might oh, have... I, that's just us. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, no one else heard it. Just us. All right. <laughs> We're set. Welcome, everyone. So wave hello in the comments when, you, when you're joining us. We are live at least what? in two places right now. Yep, yeah, we are. Look how many, and look at all these bead friends. Thank you all so much for joining us. I can't believe how many folks we are already. Oh my goodness. We're so lucky we people came to our party. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we have a lot of great bead friends. There might be a couple more folks who drop by later. Um, and we're so glad you're all joining us today um, here in the comments. Today we are, yeah, we're going to celebrate the bead box. We're going to chit chat about the last year, talk about some of our favorites. Everyone here has gotten, you know, has been able to play around with these boxes the last year and for many even longer than that. Um, and so we're just we're just gonna like celebrate this accomplishment. Getting to three years is so cool, and yeah. we needed all these your everyone's help, um, both watching and and participating today to make that happen. Um, so we're just super grateful. So today we want to do some crafting and reminisce a little bit. That's my goal for today. That sounds great to me. Yeah, yeah. Can we introduce everybody. I think that this sounds perfect. <laughs> we have uh, we, uh, Jody. Can we start with you? Sure. <laughs> No Put pressure. I mean, no. <laughs> We've got Jody joining us all the way in from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hi, and everyone. Would you give us a quick rundown of your why? I, I well, we'll ask some more questions, but can you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Um, okay. So I started beating, I found Wendy back during COVID, and I was bored because I was stuck at home. So that's when I started doing beating. And I just was ordering everything online. I had no idea what I was getting, made a lot of huge mistakes, but I've been with it ever since. And I've grown to watch, I've honestly watched many of you. And so I'm kind of like, ooh, I'm in, I'm in a room with all these famous people. <laughs> that still happens to me. Like out in Tucson, I was like, oh my gosh, it's death. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I still, I've seen them so, now probably like five times now. It still happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love cats and um, I have four children. My oldest is 28 and my youngest is 18. Wow. And so you um, help run Wendy's Crafting Friends YouTube channel, right? I do, yeah. That's, that is, That's awesome. I'm I've, so glad you guys have been able to keep Wendy's channel alive and like bring people so much inspiration. Me too. You know, and it's, it's just such an honor that, you know, Chris asked me to help out and, you know, I keep thinking about the blessings, you know what I mean? I mean, this is just one of many that have come our way. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you for keeping the, the Wendy love and spirit going. Yeah. She was so special. And I mm -hmm. remember every conversation I had with her. Yeah. And so you bring, I think you bring a lot of joy to many people. So thank you. Yeah. And if you thank are you. definitely subscribe to Wendy's Crafting Friends YouTube channel. There's so much good inspiration with the box. Oh. Uh, maybe Jesse can drop us some linky links. All right. Um, Deb, would you say hello? <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> I want to put you on the spotlight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so I still get starstruck um, meeting Sam too. Like seeing Why? Sam and Chris. <laughs> so normal. So <laughs> it's hard not to love Sam. Um, <laughs> but, That's um, very sweet. I, <laughs> I'm Deb Floros. Um, I'm, I've been designing and making jewelry for about 15 years. Um, I do my, my own jewelry designs and I also do a lot of freelance work for others. And, um, I just, I can't imagine not making jewelry. Um, so any opportunity to make something, um, and to make something with, uh, the Sam's bead box is, uh, joyful. So, um, I'm happy to be here. Happy to celebrate the birthday. Oh, we are very <laughs> thankful for you, Deb. <laughs> Thank you. And I get to add one more friend. Hi, everybody. Hey. 
Mila, you get your own row. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like by myself here. You <laughs> in the last row. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Oh my gosh, Shira. Are you, trying, are you behaving? That's the real No, thing. never. <laughs> good. Never behaving. We got up to no good in, in uh, Tucson. Yep. <laughs> we need to do more of that. That was so fun. That that it is so nice that we get to like be with each other in person. Or we get each other online throughout the year, and then also get to mix in like, even occasional in-person meets. I think is always very special. But it's sometimes weird because I sometimes think I've met someone in person. There's this has happened. It happened multiple times in two. So I was like, wait, we've met? No, we have not met. I just like feel like I know. Like, okay, Sarah Ayler, we've met once in a park for a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've met more than that. This is my point. <laughs> it's a good point. I like feel like I know you. What you tell you share about your kids and their activities. Like I feel like I know your family. Yeah, I'm a big share. I, <laughs> I love it. Probably Sarah, do you want to go next? TMI. Right? Sure. Um, I'm I'm Sarah Ayler from SoftLexCompany.com. I've worked for them um, for 25 years now, um, which is just like kind of crazy to even say. It went by in a flash, uh, and they are definitely not just a business; they're a family, and um, and they are. I, we have an amazing crew, and many of us have been there a very long time, and all love each other like a family. Um, but I am super excited to be here. I first met Sam on the phone during the pandemic. Oh, and I remember that. I was on a walk when I chatted with him. About beads. And I was like, whoa, this is refreshing. Like, I don't know. Sometimes people have been selling beads for a long time in the industry, which many of my friends have been doing it for a long time. You lose a little bit of the luster, you know, the little excitement. Um, and I felt super inspired after my conversation with Sam because he was so fired up and so in love with beads and the beading community. Um, and it was really, really fantastic. And then he's just grown this beautiful business uh, from that uh, excitement. And I know all of you out there love him so much. So I'm happy to be here to celebrate his third anniversary of bead boxes. Um, and so he's put out some pretty fantastic bead boxes this year. So you should be really proud of yourself. That's so, thank you so yeah, much. Thank it's you. so nice to like think, think back to, uh, I, I remember that conversation. I was like on a walk. I remember it was the, the shop. Really? <laughs> I, can, I can recall being outside walking. Like, I, I could see where I was on the walk and and we chatted about all sorts of things. It was kind of early on when I was getting introduced to Softlex as well, because mm -hmm. there was a couple of folks that kind of kicked me. They were like, "You gotta, you need to like go meet the Softlex folks. Like and they're local and they're amazing." So it's yeah, you know, kind of have to, it's almost like a have to if you right. live in the and Bay I, area. Yeah, and I'm so glad they did because we've got to do we've gotten to do so many beating parties together over the past three plus years now. Mm -hmm. um, when I first talked to you, the shop was, we were in like a 150 square foot little room mm -hmm. and we've now moved twice since then. Mm -hmm. And I hope we stay consistent. Yeah, we don't need to move. I, I don't want to move. We don't want to move again. <laughs> <laughs> we're at, whatever, we'll make it work here no matter what. <laughs> Um, and for folks who don't know, we collaborate every month with Softlex to design mm -hmm. a custom, well, usually it's a custom trio um, of three different colors that match the box. But we went like extra this month that we did, a, I guess, a double trio. We did six colors together, a full rainbow. It's actually been quite, pop quite popular. Yes. <laughs> this might be, uh, we might have inspired a new product line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Oh, that's this so was pretty. Our rainbow. 
Wow. And I think people are liking it. It's like a start, a starter pack or like more than a starter pack, a full on <laughs> pack of all these beautiful colors of soft flex wire. So and that's going to hit this really one. Good. I feel like each of you are represented in because here, this is Nile. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 100%. This purple is Shira. Of course. Um, and we're that might be the pink. That's, I would vote that as well. <laughs> I feel like you gotta give her the break. We got color. the thumbs up from Deb. <laughs> um, who would like to claim the tanzanite, the turquoise, or the garnet? I'm turquoise all the way. That's like my favorite color. In fact, I was gonna say my favorite bead box this year was the turquoise one that was like <gasps> mm -hmm. so good. I looked through them today and I was like, that one. And I'm from the desert, so maybe. That's part of it too. It had a little bit of a desert theme, but mm -hmm. with I'll Brittany, claim absolutely. all day. Awesome. Uh, we still got two up for grabs. Who wants garnet? Who wants tanzanite? Jody, what are you feeling? <laughs> I love that garnet. I actually yeah. have That's, that one and I use it a lot. It's a such a versatile soft flex color. Yeah. And like it's like the perfect red. And I think it's changed over the years because I found some old rolls like at a bead show. And it was a different hmm. color. It, and they said like it was really old. Like, so Are either sure just like- Are you or is it Spinel? Because they're very similar. Actually, mm -hmm. it didn't have a, a name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so my hypothesis off. has been disproven. The <laughs> scientific method is at play. <laughs> floating around. <laughs> um, and then if it's available, I'm going to take the Tanzanite. Wait, well, you can share with Danielle. Danielle, will you share the Tanzanite, Tanzanite with me? I like that color. <laughs> it's a good color. It's a good stone. Oh, well, you have to have the closest one to blue. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that was very exciting. And <laughs> that was great. This is, like, it's like we did everyone's aura. <laughs> <through soft light. laughs> Your soft flex aura. Don't give Kristen any ideas. <laughs> oh, I, I'm imagining that something. really cool. <laughs> All right, we got this for interest. But Nile? Nile, would you share with the, the folks who you are? I didn't prepare a speech today. <laughs> but I'll do You're not one. campaigning. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, hello, everybody out there who's watching. Um, I did, I met Sam, but not in a park. Um, I met Sam no, we did, Sarah. we met in the same park. <laughs> I have the giggles, because I, I just find that so hilarious. <laughs> Anyway. Wait, like, I met you at the same park that I met Sarah at. I know, but not for the first time, I don't think. Yeah, yes. 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 it was the first time. I remember seeing the pictures. Because yeah. so I, I brought focaccia. Sarah right. brought her kids. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we were friends prior to that, though, right? Yeah, yeah well, like, the first time we meet, me, I'm thinking like our first interaction together. But okay. like physically, we did meet at the park <laughs> where you gave me a kosher bread. <laughs> Which, if I remember right, was um, well enjoyed. I believe you took some with you on the plane. I did, yes. I asked for some leftovers that you kindly put in a Ziploc <laughs> bag where I would not starve on my way back. All the way back to Tulsa. And it was pure delight. I had some cheese to go with it too. Now that I mean, anyway, this has nothing to do with my company. These are the I'm, things I'm I need so in my life. I did meet you and Rachel and the team, um, and of course Shira, who is new as well to not to Sam, but the team for sure. <laughs> but uh, my name is Neelay Patel, and I'm the owner, designer, and educator uh, for a company called Silver Silk and More. I am a one man show <laughs> this uh one one man everything for for my company so i create the product which is a knitted wire jewelry chain on a machine and i do everything from shipping to uh curation to uh, just billing i don't know i do everything for the company um but i always have the privilege of working with each of these folks except for jody because i haven't met you yet but it's lovely to see you and meet you in person Nice to meet um, you. But everyone else here I've worked with and um, I love our little community. I love Sam and his company and everything that the company does. I mean, three years of the mystery, uh, the mystery bead boxes um, is incredible. And you guys just continue to elevate 
and innovate within our bead community. And I've always appreciated that about you guys. So um, a lot of people don't know that if I have some gemstone questions and or tech stuff that I need help with, <laughs> I'm sitting there texting Sam of like, what I, what, how do I become young again and do this? <laughs> I'm glad I can bring the young inspiration to everyone. It sounds like, <laughs> and it, I was thinking when Sarah was saying that, I was like, "Oh, I do remember that energy. How do I get more of that again?" <laughs> it's hard to find. Something about you specific. I think you just have that vibe about you. But um, I, I appreciate you so much, Sam, and of course Rachel. Um, and we occasionally do collaborations as well. I know you guys yes. got some silver silk stocked up and. Also, the bead box that was themed under mid-century. So, yeah, we this past year we did five collaboration boxes with other with designers, which is like mind blowing. Like in one year, like almost half the boxes. So yeah, getting to do that with Unile was so much fun. And For sure. Yeah, this this was the. So we went extra with the soft flex. We did the six colors, and then usually we only do one or two colors. Um, of Ooh. pipe chain, but for the okay. anniversary, the birthday bead box, we did a pack of four colors in one. Um, so that was, we had to go wild. <laughs> and it matches so nicely. Got our tourmalines and our amethyst. Like, yeah, we all, ma we all matched up. That beading wire through the actual chain itself. Um, this is so true. I think it's, just, it's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Oh, there's a turquoise. There it is. Turquoise. Yeah. Oh, good. Perfect. Matches. And then I do. This works well with the floor, and I also dream. I know green's. I know green's not the most popular color of soft flex, but I dream. I dream of green sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I still think about the yellow, Sarah, too. But maybe it'll come back someday. If we just Never keep know. mentioning it subtly, will it, does it make it speed it along? <laughs> yeah, those buttons do we gotta push. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't complain. We, we love our soft flex colors. And this, it's been such a joy getting to collaborate with you, Nile. Um, it's definitely a team effort. Rachel and Nile have come up with this whole formula of all the possibilities that are that we could do for our the pipe chains yeah and which wire to which tube how do we want to do it this month and yeah and sometimes then, we do things that we're like a little unsure if they'll work like do these colors make sense together and it's it's always fun to see what happens i think it neely is. has some i'm, I'm like sometimes. these two will never go together <laughs> yeah. and then they do it and i'm like oh my gosh this is an amazing combination that i would have never <laughs> thought of I mean, if I had a nickel for every time that happened, whenever we were... <laughs> You'd have a dollar! <laughs> Someone asked who our collaborators are going to be for the, this next year, but I don't think we're going to say. We but... do have collaborations in, in 2024. Oh yeah, we have several. But we shall say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happy. No kidding. From Sarah, I say everything. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing this box is actually continued. You called it like a mystery bead box. I'm amazed it stayed a mystery. Like mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever really been the cover's been blown before it's been shipped out. Like, I don't know, <laughs> no one in our office is like leaking it to the press. <laughs> <laughs> I think Shara's more protective of the theme than I am sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. really do give clues. I used to give a clue almost every month. Yeah. Never. And I and now I don't. The Sharon like shuts me up. <laughs> Do not make me come downstairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right, we have a couple more intros, and then we. I want to start looking. I know some chatting boxes. is so fun. We still is, have Deb. Have you? Did we talk yeah, with Deb? Danielle. Danielle and Shira. Okay, Danielle, you're on the hot seat. <laughs> okay. How um, Danielle's joining us from Washington. Yeah. How's life in Washington right now, Danielle? Uh, we had a few sunny days, and then it got rainy and cold again. But it's it's good. I, we're used to it. <laughs> I, we're talking we're talking about Danielle's background before. It's different. Uh, so um, I'm getting my my background's under construction. So for a while, I just have my old background, but I'm actually taking the pictures down and I'm doing a whole wall. Like the pegboard's going to be built into the wall. 
It's gonna be is that Joshua sweet. Tree? It's gonna be so sweet. Yeah, I grew up in the desert, so this is like the Mojave Desert, and then this is where I live now. So I just kind of put pieces of the same together. They're yeah. very different climates. They're very different. Yeah. <laughs> And will you tell, share a little bit? So you work for John Bede, but I feel like you do many things. Will you share a little bit about yeah. what you yeah, get up to, um, what you love in the bead world? Oh, I love everything beading. I've been beading since, oh gosh, 2007 or so, a while. Um, but it's evolved from wire and metal smithing and metal clays to um, more seed beading. And now seed beading was the role that I got started with at John Bede. And now I'm actually their creative director. And I'm doing uh, some product development, product testing. I help out with, um, you know, everything from picking colors to, um, you know, designing proposals for suppliers, things like that. So, yeah. Nice. We've gotten to launch some of Danielle's inventions since yeah, she started coming out with them through John Bead. I think we've launched all of your... You've launched everything so far. And I think... If you awesome. put your touch on it, it's gold. So... <laughs> We've got, we have to have it. <laughs> we did the, the tassels and the ends yes. for, for the peyote. And then the box caps is what we did at Tucson this year. <clears throat> and I feel like, is it just, I mean, that in a short period of time, you've come out with multiple veggies, which is <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. remarkable. <laughs> I don't even think I've had an idea. So <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, thank you. And Danielle yeah. also was one of our collaborators this last oh, year. Yes. Last August, our coffee house box. So I gotta say that was my favorite box, although there were others that were very strong competitors. So. I heard you make a comment about it when we were in Tucson that there was a box that you that might have taken the throne from your own box. Yeah, that was the January box you did this year. <laughs> so since that's this year, I figure I can still say. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with your own. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, Shara, would you like to go next? I guess I could go next. Hi, everyone. This is Sam's desk behind me, calling him out. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> don't look. Don't look. Um, and I apologize for all of the halo of light around me. It's just because I'm angelic. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy to say that I am a member of the team. Started off years ago when Sam was just beginning and have been a beadbox fan since the very, very beginning and was like super thrilled to be able to design my own box this year, which I was told I can't choose as my favorite. Wait, I said, you said, said that? I said I wanted to know what your other <gasps> one was. <laughs> That's the obvious choice. Of course it's the obvious choice. It was purple. <laughs> it was like oh, so very, you very know. purple. My favorite uh, one. What's the next favorite? Well, I'll, I'm going to okay, show we'll all the boxes okay. in a okay, second. Okay. But tell us a, a couple of Shira facts. A couple of Shira facts. So uh, up until June 7th of this year, so currently, um, I'm actually a teacher and assistant principal. And I am uh, leaving there to okay. devote myself full time to the shop and making sure that I am fully immersed in bead world. I grew up right here in the Bay Area, actually very close to where Sam and Rachel grew up. And I didn't meet, even though I started purchasing from Sam back in 2014, yeah. um, we didn't actually meet until like the beginning of 2020. Yeah. And we did we did not meet in a park. I I just <laughs> I think we I don't know what to we meet at the office or do we meet to drop off an order for you on your stoop or something? You so I went to the office first and then you dropped off an order at my house and then you dropped off cookies at my house. Aww. And then oh, yeah. <laughs> that's how that worked. <laughs> and then Shara helped us with the move in July. Mm -hmm. And she helped like <laughs> And she had some and time never in, in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> I actually sleep right over here. <laughs> yeah, we're very excited that Shira is is now joining us full time in the shop. I think it's going to be very okay. special. And I literally can't wait. Shira and I are counting down the days every day. Absolutely. <laughs> um, for our next order of business, is it time to vote? on the best beatbox of 20, uh, well, of our third year. Ooh. 
Okay. I'm How gonna... many votes does everyone get? Well, they should I... at least get more than one. At least two, right? <laughs> I... You could do the math. <laughs> <laughs> two. Two. Everyone gets two votes. We're... So we're going to go. Let's start in April of last year. Okay. Let me sort of my other. Oh, we deleted the other screen. Hold on. I have to make the screen okay. again. <laughs> Hold on. I have all the photos. Ready in just a second. So we will look at just remind ourselves of what the last what has even happened in the last year. Let's take a look here. Voila, we did it. Nice to okay, where is that window? Can someone teach me how to do technology today? <laughs> just call Alrighty, you'll know what to do. <laughs> All right. Let me go back a year. I know. I was yeah, thinking yeah. I was sorry at the beginning. Jump forward. Let me zoom Jump in. Jump backwards. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. Everyone close your eyes for a second. I got to scroll. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, no, too far. Okay. April. April. Well, we'll start with our okay. last anniversary box. It could be in the running. All right. Because it was our 25th box. <laughs> yes. All right. So we will start in March oh, of 2023 <laughs> with our Beauty of Time box, our copper naturally aging with patina into a green verdigris. And this so was pretty. a favorite of mine. So should we go through and then cast our votes? Is that the way to do it? No, I, guess, I, I think yeah. just as we go. But the, with the, I know I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. we'll go the other way. <laughs> we only get two choices, so we have to see them all. First. Okay, see them all and think, do you have to make your decisions? What are your two votes? And then we had our second ever collaboration, which was with Rachel Malice, our Alice in Wonderland box titled Wonderland. So moody and mysterious and magical. I think this is our first time we had some more custom TR cast components. Yeah, that was from their like archive, from the vault. And we had some laser for the first time, I believe as well. And you can kind of start to see the box. It, it kind of slowly evolves over time. So we're gonna go to- Wait, but I have to say the biggest debate of this entire box, that triangle pendant Oh right my there, gosh. The, do you know how long we spent deciding if the pole was gonna be at the top? Here. At the top where it or is? here. Or like, in the middle of a side, like you can see my cursor, which way right? the triangle <laughs> yeah. should hang. That was the like longest dis decision. <laughs> Rachel Malice wanted it here. She wanted it to, to point down and I thought it would be like too edgy so for the box. CM did make the final call on that one. <laughs> we had a long discussion and I, I pushed a lot on that one. <laughs> There's a little inside baseball, there you go. We have our we were March, oh, yeah. no, uh, no, April, May. <laughs> our waltz of the flowers box, our, <laughs> our ode to spring full of mixed glass, a little bit of, we had a little bit of sort of like wedding vibes, like that was full of flowers with the whites and the golds. Yeah, yeah. We, we kind of saw this as kind of a nuptial box yeah, a little bit. Ceremony, yeah. And so then we had a custom gem strand for this one. I believe this was a new shape at the time. Yeah. And, and we had a freaking crystal in the middle oh, there. Oh, yes, we had some tear, tear cross crystal in there. So pretty. That was a fun one. And oh, and, and this was Rachel's. Oh, this was fun. <gasps> oh, yeah. In Tucson last year, Rachel, we found, we spotted tons of strands of this, these citrine nuggets. And but the price was not going to work for the box. Like, we were only going to put, like, be able to put a small handful. And Rachel ended up just like naming this very low price to the yeah. vendor. She was like, we're going to buy a lot of strands. Here's the price I'll pay. And it, and it took a while. And then he just said, yes. Yeah. And we got this crazy price on the citrine, which is why there's like a pile. Like these were large nuggets, pile of citrine in this box, which I thought was very fun. That was a Rachel win. That was my best negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> um, we will go to June below the waves. Uh, this came cute. out right when the Little Mermaid came out, which was not on purpose. This happened a couple times throughout the year. You'll notice um, as we get to Viva Magenta. But this one, we had already done a beach. The previous mm -hmm. summer, we had done a beach theme. And Rachel was so determined because I was like, you know, we could just kind of do another beachy sort of thing. She's like, okay, I want it to feel really different, though. So what if we go below the water for this one? Mm-hmm. 
And so you really came up with some of the possibilities here of some of the multi-tone finishes and some of the mixes. Well, we're inspired by just how bright and colorful mm -hmm. you know, the coral reef is that like once you get your head underwater, you go <laughs> snorkeling or scuba diving, like there's this entire world of color and animals and that's what we wanted to celebrate. Oh, cool. so that, that was a fun one. And we had some lavender right in that box, mm -hmm. box, which was a personal favorite. By the way, these just came back in stock yesterday <laughs> by chance. So if you would like those, they are now available again, our mermaid glass. Um, we are going to go to our color of the year for 2023, Viva Magenta. I remember coming up with this theme together, like we were doing a brainstorming meeting and we hit upon this. We're like, oh, it's such a distinct color this year. Mm -hmm. It would be so nice to design a box around it. We were a little scared because pink chuck glass is both expensive and hard to come by. And we weren't sure if enough people would like pink mm -hmm. or magenta. That was that was nerve wracking. And this ended up being one of our boxes that sold out the fastest this mm -hmm. year once we were posted the extras. Deb, what do you think of this box? <laughs> <laughs> it's well. Since we're not voting yet, I can't say, but um, oh my god, I love that box. <laughs> Such a good one. <laughs> yeah, this one was fun. This had some hand cut moonstone. We kind of experimented with different ways to do pink. We did a pink gemstone. I remember Deb that quite neon. liked these melons. <laughs> um, we experimented with some pink washes and some different pink finishes. Lamp work. Yeah, I really, and, oh yeah, we had some new, this new rose. I really liked this rose. And that was our first time custom making a graduated strand as well. Mm -hmm. So I love how that one came out. And it happened to be at the same time that the Barbie movie came out. Yeah, we just, we were very in sync with the cinema without even <laughs> meaning to. <laughs> and now we get to our friend Danielle. We got to add um, Danielle's <laughs> name. Yeah. So this is our coffee lovers box. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this box, Danielle? Yeah, this was inspired by a coffee shop that was near the uh, campus I went to, and it had a, a really cool feeling, like it had plants and just a really earthy vibe, lots of, you know, yellows and, um, of course, great coffee. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. And it just has some of my favorite shapes in this box. It has, um, we had, um, Rachel and I had projects planned when we designed the box itself, so we, we knew we wanted to do a leather wrap bracelet. So we knew we needed some tea mm -hmm. and we wanted to get some seed beads in there and some leather and a button, a really nice button. Um, that's my favorite button is that little flower apple blossom. Um, and then the pinch beads, those are just something I love. I love pinch beads. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we um, did a lot of pinch beads out here. <laughs> 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 we used them actually in the wrap. So, and it gave it so much dimension and texture. And yeah, and then just those beautiful flowers and of course the coffee beans and I love the, all those, you know, mixed together earth tones going on in the big flower, the yellow and, custom, and the red. Oh, custom yeah. did our first laser yes. pendant mm -hmm. here. The gem was actually custom as well because we wanted to add a flat edge around these. So that would be a little easier to brick stitch with. Yeah, that was, that was one of the projects we did. That was really fun to get to like really think about what, what the final version of the gem might look like after the box came out. And it also worked really well with the hoops from Tierra Cast. So that was a really fun collaboration. Oh, and some garnets up here. We're just going to shout those out as well. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, I guess I have to keep moving us along. From our friend Danielle to Nile. This was a very distinct box that I personally adore. I, I, I won't influence anything. What a cool box. <laughs> Nile, would you take us into the world of this box for a moment? Yeah, um, I believe you guys approached me and said, let's do a box together. And I said, yes. And then I was like, I have no idea what we're going to do. <laughs> I think <laughs> eventually, like, we kind of went back and forth about it. We started with bead shapes and general colors, I think. And then once we started to really dive into what the story was unfolding as, we landed on mid-century design, which is an aesthetic that I hold very near and dear to my heart. It's very distinct, um, minimalist or organic, purposeful, functional. Um, so there's a lot of 
unique psychology involved with it, but purely from God, the standpoint. Sorry. Oh, do you want to mind for me? <laughs> I was an experiment. I didn't know how to get to choose the As person. As I talk, Shira can do hand gestures. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I love like my train of thought because that's what ADHD does. So, <laughs> I love this box. I think it's um I think it's a really great box for and a break from the other themes if you're trying to make jewelry that leans a little bit more on the masculine side. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so it has really great components in it for creating that sort of minimalist but statement pieces. Um and so there's, I mean, we we designed a f several pieces with it, I think, or did a couple classes. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, that so that's a fun little archive to go back down through and and you know learn some things. Yeah, I loved the kumbaba that we selected for it, mm -hmm. and some of the wooden elements, and then of course your nile greens, like <laughs> kumbaba. Jasper pen in the center, just <laughs> so pretty. And then that we got to include silver silk pipe chain right in the box. Yeah, that was for, very for special. For everyone to have with some projects, I think we did two projects with just mm -hmm. this one link. Yeah. Um, here, um, many of these boxes, especially these more recent ones that we're now showing, we do have extras of. So if you're feeling inspired by this box, I think Danielle's box has some available. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to samsbeachup.com and shop our past boxes, mm. as well as some individual extras. Like I know we have more Kumbaba available and some wood and beads, like select beads from each box are often available on the site still. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we are in October now. The yes. colors of the cosmos. Yeah, do you want we, to tell us about this box? Yeah, I mean, we we've been needing to do a very you know a celestial and outer space box, um, and we got particularly inspired by the images that came from the James Webb Telescope. They're just mm -hmm. these gorgeous, colorful, detailed pictures, you know, of of outer space and of these other you know, other worlds is what it feels like. Um, so we drew inspiration from the like blues and oranges and blacks and kind of metallic look to it all. Um, and I mean, who doesn't love like moon beads? Like those are the best. So, um, you know, this is inspired by the love of the stars. Yeah, absolutely. And folks, well, you're welcome to holler about the boxes. I'm very curious, all your, all your thoughts on them as we go. I might have earrings on that were made with that box. <gasps> How can I zoom in on Deb? How do I do it? I can do it. Nope. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yeah. I remember those. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. They're one of my favorite pairs of earrings. So I'm not going to comment on whether this box is a favorite or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we only have a handful left. We have our Mukite Memories box inspired by the beautiful Mukite Jasper that comes out of Australia. I love how this box came together. And we solely took the inspiration from the colors of Mukite, mm -hmm. which can have such nice variety here. So of course we had to have Mukite in the box. And you can see how the purples we pulled out along with the mustard and red. And we really, we it was tricky because like there's not always orange in Mukite. So we really tried to lean away from that. So it really have a distinct Mukite feel to it. And there's a lot of mixing in this box. As I remember yeah. working on, we did the mix of melons, mixed glass on a mix strand. The seed bead mix. Yeah, we really wanted to bring that Mukite to, uh, like, to life. Shout out to the first ever beading party I did with Sarah. I used the, these Mukite art, art deco cuts and made myself a necklace that I still wear to this day. Really? I remember being terrified on that stream, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I absolutely will not crimp on camera because at the time I was such a newbie to it. Uh, and Sarah was very, very kind and patient. And so we did them. We did more beating parties after that. <laughs> she didn't scare me away. <laughs> All right, we have reached, go ahead. You did great. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> All right, we have reached December. Do um, you want to take this one? Yeah, this is our winter wanderer box. 
Um, I know, at least for me personally, it was inspired by the time uh, when I lived for <laughs> when I lived for five years in Madison, Wisconsin, before I moved back to California, um, and time I got to spend uh, snowshoeing and exploring in the winter and trying to actually get outside and not just stay cooped up all winter long. Um, so this is kind of this was inspired by um, just the beauty of the lakes in Madison and the ice and the snow. Um, and the trees. So that's where all, all these colors came from. I, Sarah Lovecraft, I don't think was able to pop in today, but this, I do know that this is her vote. Um, oh, really? This is her vote for number one for the last year. <laughs> yeah, there was some cool stuff. I remember the, the button got some attention. Oh, yeah, we had a oh. check glass button. That was cool. <laughs> Along with some crystals and lots of gems. It was a very fun box. If, to me, it reminded me of, like, what I imagine, like, the Yule Ball, as described in, like, the Harry Potter books, might look like, with just the crystals and, like, just kind of a, I think there's a certain magic to this box. Um, and I love this one. So we are going to... This one's been mentioned a couple times already. <laughs> so, this is true. This is our collaboration with Brittany of Turquoise Street. We, of course, had to do a turquoise box. We nearly, I asked Brittany if she wanted to just call the box Turquoise Street. But we went with turquoise trails, <laughs> which, Almost the same which thing. was not intentionally <laughs> that it was not made, meant to be that similar to her channel name. But we clearly liked the alliteration of it. Um, this one was a fun collaboration. You worked a, really closely with with Brittany on this. Oh, one. I mean, she just had such a clear vision. I mean, she's opened all of our boxes. She's opened many other bead boxes. So, like, I think she she really knew and felt what she wanted in her own one. And so it was so great to just follow her vision and share with her ideas, see what she loved the most. And we pack, we were able to pack a lot in here. Um, and this I think has been a favorite. We got to like play with it a bunch in Tucson together and with lots of different jewelry artists. So there's a, this was a great way to kick off 2024. Absolutely. Yeah. This was, yeah, I loved this box. Um, I'm gonna guess this one might be Britney's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. Um, we have a, a cool box here. Um, it's too bad the collaborators can't tell us anything about it or why she That's likes right. the color. <laughs> totally, totally not my favorite box at all. And I did not fight for anything in this box. <laughs> <laughs> this box. So why amazing. purple? Why purple? Purple's my favorite color. It's been my favorite color since I was two years, nine months old. And I, you guys asked me to do a purple box, to revisit a purple box. And I, I was very hesitant, um, did not really agree to it at all. It's like, who's going like to who's gonna like a purple box? And then I just kind of dove into it. So I wanted, um, when coming up with a revisit of a purple box, to really focus in on my favorite shade of purple, which is that sort of what I like to call that grape jelly dark purple. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite things to pair with purple is bronze. And the second favorite thing to pair with purple is pearls. And so this box, I was very adamant that we had a beautiful, beautiful purple amethyst and pearls as well. And Sam found it, Rachel found it. We were able to put pearls in a bead box. Yeah, yeah this one had the 15-inch cool. strand of amethyst, mm -hmm. hand-cut yeah. amethyst, yep, and a strand of pearls. That was very special, along with and one of my all-time favorite. Yes, they're gorgeous. Yeah. I, I'm and, still obsessed. And, and purple mixed glass. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is one of my all-time favorite TR cast components. I don't even know if we still have any available at the shop. They're so cool. They're so beautiful. And I looked through all of the Tierra Cast components to find them. I, yeah. The, I got to visit Tierra Cast once before they closed. And when I was, when Kirsten was giving me the tour, oh. sorry, um, it was really cool because she would take me, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could stay. <laughs> she uh, she took me room by room because it's it's there it's not a huge building it's kind of like a lot of small like small rooms kind of it's so kind of like what we have here but it's more spread out um, you have to, like walk outside to get to the next building and she took me to the tumbling room it's like tumbling and finishing and I saw that component we had, oh. we had just ordered it like okay. I don't know a couple weeks prior. 
um, because we had to get a bunch of orders in once they announced they were closing. And I got to see like the whole tub of them before before that even been like plated or antiqued or anything. I was like, wait, that's that's yeah. Shire's bead right there. Like that was so cool to see like, oh, like a true USA made item right there. So we oh I think that brings and us to our most recent box, our joyful celebration, our rainbow wishes box inspired by the sky, the clouds, a clear day, a cloudy day, a rainbow day, all of that, a sunny day, all of that painted together uh, in our Rainbow Wishes box. Yeah, this one featured Labradorite and Moonstone, and of course, four strands of our Rainbow Lusters on drops, like little raindrops, heishis, and two sizes of fire polish. Alongside this really cool cloud that Rachel, <laughs> that was I, I remember when you found that, I was like, wait, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, and Apple people... Marine too, Sam. Yes. Oh, the how could I forget? <laughs> I know a couple people um, are making a little bit right now as, we, um, as we've been chit-chatting. I don't know if we want to do a quick glance at sure. what's, <laughs> what, what creativity is going on. Um, I don't know, Sarah Ayler, can we see what you're, what you've been up to? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think you have to bring my camera on though. Um, All right, no rush. Does anyone have something they want to show that they've been working unfinished, on? Unfinished, uh, in progress. <laughs> can you see my camera in the background? I have oh, some. Oh, right. Here, I'll get that on the screen. Oh, I wanted to make sure we gave folks a little bit of inspiration for the March box today. Oh, you took all the blues. You sorted it. I did, yeah. I was really into the cloud. It's super cute. And then I was like, well, what things do I have in my little box here that I haven't used? And I had this really great little Green Girl Studio uh, unicorn, which is double-sided. and That's so <laughs> perfect for this one cute would that be hanging from the cloud and I was like oh these make good little raindrops and then I was like oh I like these moons <laughs> I was literally just like digging and thinking about things I like and and then I just put it on a really nice long strand of soft flex beading wire in the what dark. color did you go for yeah the, the lapis color. oh beautiful pick there yeah that is so awesome cute really beautiful box lots of good inspiration do i get to tell my vote for best box now or i we think you, you absolutely okay what are, I, your, what are your two votes two written down i liked the waltz of the flowers got um, it one of the very first ones and then i liked turquoise trails for sure okay. all right i see deb has something on her bead mat or is she just getting started? I can't tell. What are you doing there? Um, I'm I'm just getting started, but I'm in love with this <gasps> these luster beads. Um, so I I have been wire wrapping all of the what is the shape? It's our groovy rectangle. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> the groovy rectangles are all wrapped, and I'm starting to um, add them to kind of the focal section of the necklace and it's i'm just going to try and use all of these yes. beautiful luster beads um so i'm really inspired by these i love them beautiful i already love that you've put those onto head pins they hang really <laughs> nicely that way will you, me, me, so fun. will you give me your two votes deb my two votes um July, Viva Magenta, shocking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I love October Color of uh, the Cosmos. That mm -hmm. was such a fun box to work with. So it's it's really a, a tie between those two for me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, Jody, do you want to go next? Do you have Do you have a vote to share? I do. I have two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a lot more than two. So my two <laughs> favorites. <laughs> um, I loved Mookite Memories. That one was yes. probably my number one. And then Yay. my second one is Turquoise Trails. Those are two very good picks. 
So you clearly like a bounty of color and tone variety. Oh, look, I'm actually wearing turquoise trail. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> How fitting. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> And what did you, what what is uh what makes Mo the Mookite Memories one a favorite for you? Um Mookite's one of my favorite um gemstones. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then the leaf was I was blown away. And then I know maybe it wasn't popular with everyone, but the snake head, I made mm -hmm. the cutest snake bracelet and I wish I had it, but I gave it away to my best friend and she loves it. She wears it every day. Oh, that's awesome. That's so oh, cool. Wonderful. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Well, thank you for casting your votes and thank you for uh, making with the box every month. Um, oh, yeah. On, I love on the it. channel. So we shall go, let's see, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, nile. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm going to go with the nile box as a 2x vote. And in fact, <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> I love craft, and she is also saying two votes for that box. So, we are. Okay, next. Um, um, this is some. This is uh, someone's rigging the contest. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of votes. Do you like? Is there any other love you would share towards any other boxes? No, in all seriousness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love, I really dug the Cosmos box. I thought that was really well done. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, how do you pick with all the strong themes that you guys came up with? I think September and October. I think those are, those are two good votes. Mm -hmm. Is that what two, yeah, that's Nile and Beyond Nile. You, you give yourself a vote. <laughs> that is all good. <laughs> I'm giving both of my votes. To, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You guys can do whatever you want with the two numbers. <laughs> that is too funny. Um, let's see, Danielle, would you like to go next? Actually, I'll add your overhead here too. You looks like you got a lot of beads out. I do. Yeah, let me get my bright light going. It's so dark here. All right, so um, I'm just going to use every bead once on a really pretty strand. I thought I would just. Whoa. Move. Wow. Yeah, and then um, I'm either going to space it with a crystal or I wanted to ask, is there a corresponding seed bead mix or one you recommend that goes with we this We do. We did release a mix. It was full of the Ceylon seed beads. So we did. You bet you have some of these colors. Yeah, I'm sure you have, you oh, know, the, kind of your classic colors all in the Ceylon, uh, that lustery finish. Oh, that's pretty yeah so something like that with just dropping some spacers in between each one that's the i love when you do point. your eclectic um almost like bead soup pieces those come out so yes. cool yeah, they, they always work so well like how does she do it <laughs> this box is done for you you just pick one from every bag or two if you want to do a little kind of, i'm going to do kind of a quasi symmetry where like you've got a little bit of these going and maybe you can bring in some of those either side oh you've started in the center there yeah, so, so the center is kind of my big my big beads, the ones I want to make. And I was playing with this one, but I think I'm going to necklace this one. But so this is kind of nice. like the main thing. And then I'm going to sprinkle stuff in between. So maybe this will be a drop on the end of the chain at the end. Um, and then maybe this, bring it in. Yeah. Is this kind of a way that you often approach the box? Like how, how you lay it out? Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll dump everything out. Try to kind of keep them in little piles and then just see what looks good next to the other i know i'm like these are definitely gonna need to come in here somewhere like pop oh, in you gotta Maybe mix in gotta mix in your labs yeah i also love the look of the labs with the moonstone because they have such a nice contrast with the together oh yeah look at that that's pretty that's awesome all right so and what are your votes oh. danielle what are your two um, votes it's it's i'm really torn because so my favorite thing I made last year, and this was a tough pick because I had a really good time last year making stuff, but uh, my favorite thing that I made was actually with Neelay's box. It was that tassel necklace that we did. Mm -hmm. yeah. But a really so cool. close second were these like orange flower earrings that we made with the August box. I love that too. Um, and then we did, um, there was one, oh, obviously <laughs> the, my, second, my other favorite was the turquoise trails. And we did the- That box loom box. bracelet. Yeah. yeah, we did two different designs. We did a loom and then mm -hmm. we did a herringbone. And both of those 
honestly are like my favorite things I've made this year. So, wow. Yeah. Mm. So what are your two? <laughs> <laughs> I have three. Can I vote for <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. Vote for August, uh, then yes. turquoise trails and then Nile's box. And then also Mukite <laughs> and also Shira's box. So it's fine. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to make a call and figure something out. <laughs> we'll see how close this is. And if, if uh, Danielle's going to sway the vote. Um, Shira, you are next. All right, so I know that it would be prudent to choose other boxes than my own as my favorite, but I can't do that. So I'm going to go. I bought actually my top three. So oh I'm, not gonna <laughs> I'm not going to follow the rules. I'm not going to follow the rules. If Danielle can have five, then I can have three. Oh my um, goodness, so it can't take you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I caused trouble. I caused trouble. So my favorite is going to be. Amethyst Allure because nice. purple. Um, I think my second favorite, actually, I'm going to have, I'm going to do four. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll decide mean, which one I write down. <laughs> uh, my second favorite is going to be this month's box, Rainbow Wishes, because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I was, I was telling Rachel right before class that I, I may have bought just a few extras for this box, just a few. <laughs> um, my third illegal vote is probably going to be for Winter Wanderer. And the reason for that was that button and those crystals and mm. the appetite. Like, hello, button, crystals, appetite. That, that was another <laughs> box that I bought a lot of extras from. Uh, and then my fourth vote, my illegal vote, would probably also be Colors of the Cosmos. Cool. Some nice picks. Right, thank yeah. you. It's our yeah, turn. You go first. Okay. Well, <laughs> my number one from the last year is Waltz of the Flowers. I'm obsessed Ooh. with that box too. You Just did a like lot Sarah. of seed beating projects with that <laughs> yep, one. Yeah, I did. I was right after that box came out. I went to New Orleans for a week from with my dad, and while we were listening Oops, to so much good music, um, I did a ton of seed beating and crafting with the box. So I think because mm. I had all this extra time to make with it, I also just loved the colors, like blues and purples and golds and yeah. She came back with like five, like five different projects. projects. <laughs> um, it was also, you had gotten hooked on the sea beating. Like right before right that trip. Right before that. Yeah. Kind of around after Tucson. And then my other favorite would be the Colors of the Cosmos. The, that celestial feel. I've yeah. been delaying my vote right, as long as possible. <laughs> but I also want to vote for a lot of others. <laughs> I just keep scrolling them. This is a very <laughs> evil decision. <laughs> You do, I, I don't know if you guys are aware of how much work goes into what? each of these boxes. I know. I know how much. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a lot of work. This, okay. it's, it basically takes up most of Rachel's time day to day. Yes, it's a cool oh, project. Wow. Um, because she is scouting the beads. Do you guys see me stalling? Um, <laughs> she's scouting and she comes up with a proposal, she makes mood boards. She brings them to me and Shira. We give feedback and then we come back to on like we we meet twice a week on the box because there's so many decisions to make. Yeah. Do you and think this is almost like picking a favorite child and maybe you shouldn't mm -hmm. vote? <laughs> but I mean we don't, Sam does not have children, so I have I, I know, have a cat. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I think Sam is just delaying saying the February box, Amethyst. <laughs> I'm scrolling them just to make sure I haven't missed. I only get two votes. Yes. Only two. Which one did you like make the most with? Which one like I know. got you the most inspired? So I think one of them, this is really tricky because I'm worried like, I don't know how many I would be excluding by saying one. Beauty of Time I made a lot with. If we consider that part of, yeah, we're going to include that as the 13 boxes options here. And then let me just say out loud my other top picks here okay. before I have to pick. <laughs> I really liked Wonderland yeah. because Rachel Mouse is really willing to be like bold with a kind of a, I call it gloomier box. Um, and I really liked, I really liked how much we were able to lean into it, but still maintain some whimsy and brightness mm -hmm. with still at the same time. Yeah. Um, and then, oh my God. Danielle's box just makes me so happy. Danielle's box is really <laughs> earthy, so I keep scrolling past that one. Danielle's box. 
And so Danielle and Eli are also my top two here, top like top picks. This is so evil, you guys. <laughs> um, Mukhead is also one of my favorite gems. Shara's gonna yell at me. <laughs> I have become a purple convert since becoming very close friends with Shira. And the purples of that box are like kind of amazing. So my second vote goes to February 2024. <laughs> Amethyst Allure. All right. We have, Yay. based on how I decided to interpret the votes, <laughs> we have a top two from the last year. Oh, it's cool that almost every box had at least a vote on it. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, we all loved so many, I mean, all of them. <laughs> That's really cool to see. Oh, yeah. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to Jesse for taking these amazing photos of the boxes every month. Yes. We call them the mosaics. <laughs> Um, and the fact that we have this like beautiful memory of every box is like so special. So huge shout out to Jesse for making that happen. Um, Rachel, I think Jesse should vote. He's in the comments. Oh. Yeah, we need Jesse. Vote. Yeah, Jeff Jesse. Okay. What are your top two boxes? Uh, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. I don't know. I don't know if you can make a de that decision that quick. Let's I'm see. gonna zoom in. I know on more's happening. Deb. Deb. This is oh, wow. I love these beads. <laughs> this luster is amazing. Oh my God. I love That's this. Gorgeous. I'm going to be wearing this like often. Love this. We all need to be wearing more rainbows. I'm going to get one. <laughs> We're having more votes come in. <laughs> all right. Jesse says, hmm. Oh. Ooh, I feel Jody, like the are we, can I see what you're doing over there? Oh, yeah. I'm just making a simple bracelet with the, I had to go grab a crimp um, cover, but with a little beaded button closure. That's fabulous. Would you hold that up a little higher? Oh, sure. Can you see it okay? Yeah, with the Labradorite, the Aquamarine. Oh, that is so beautiful. Thank you. I love, love the buttons. Buttons are so cute. Oh, my gosh. That is fabulous. All right. We have I'm using link. this. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Yay. It looks beautiful. You're Thank doing you. All right, Lynn, you should be able to hear everyone. There we go. We have here. Do you want to come? Do you want to pick your head in? Lynn has a really fun shirt on today. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know Lynn, she uh, put together the first 12 Sam be Sam's bead boxes oh. by herself. <laughs> wow. Start to finish. Oh my goodness. Um, and then she still comes in to, these days to with to help with the box a whole lot. So we are very thankful uh, to Lynn and her quality sorting eye. <laughs> she is very precise. Picky. Yeah, Picky. between Lynn and Michelle, uh, I think that they they keep the quality for the box as high as we can make it. So, All right, we got Jesse's vote. One of them is for two, is more than a year old. So I'm not going to count Dawn and Dusk, but. <laughs> wow, <laughs> strict here. He's very, he's um, very strict. <laughs> but below the waves, I will give that a vote right here. Jesse, you're welcome to give another one if you want. <laughs> Lynn, do you know yours? Your top Wonderland. Winter Wonderland. Yes. Winter Wonderland. Wonderland and Winter the Wonder. <laughs> Those okay. are the things I made the most stuff about. Okay, win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesse adds colors of the cosmos. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Well, that Michelle's means we have a number too. one now. Is it time to reveal? Some people, I think, have done the math. Let's see. Can you guys still hear us? Yeah. Um, yeah. The winner <laughs> of the 2020. Ooh. The 2023-2024 season, <laughs> our MVP mm -hmm. goes to Colors of the Cosmos. Wow. Yay. Yay. Followed very followed very closely by Turquoise Trails. Oh, that is awesome. wonderful. wonderful. That's it's so interesting. I don't think I would have guessed October would be the top box for that. Yeah, month. well, at least among us. I don't know. I'm sure folks in the crowds, everyone has their own opinions, their own favorites. I mean, literally every single box got at least one vote. So, like, everyone has... Mm -hmm. There's something for everyone, I think, is what that yeah. says. Which is kind of the intention is as we go through each year, 
we're trying to have a full color variety mm -hmm. and contrast as we go through because we don't want it to feel stagnant. We want like every box to feel very fresh. And so we're constantly thinking about the themes we've already done. We're thinking about the themes that are coming and we want each one to stand out so that it feels really um, to design with. I think that's what's going to let the box keep going into the future is that we're just going to keep finding new places for inspiration, yeah, including more collaborations. We're excited for the collaborations that are to come and we have so many people we still want to ask. So oh, yeah. Um, Thank you everyone for, for voting. Let, and we'll maybe we'll do a poll in uh, gem chat as well. I'm sure Shira might be able to. Absolutely. And I won't make sure that all 12 choices are mine. <laughs> oh. Does anyone have any uh, fun party, end of party questions? Party checkout questions? <laughs> You know, an ice breaker, anyone of an ice creator, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're muted, Sarah. Do you want to say something? Thank you so much for inviting me, but I'm going to go check on my family. Um, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me make this beautiful necklace. I really needed that this week. So I posted pictures um, and you can see them on the Softflex Company Instagram. And then I posted in into the gem chat group. So you can see well, a better picture. You're efficient. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Way over here. Our social media guru. Really. Over there. I'm, I'm posting pictures. Yeah. <laughs> well, Thank we, you. Wish, we wish you well, Sarah. Thank you Thank for, you so joining, much for joining us. us. We appreciate We're it so We're so much. thankful for you. Thank Bye, you everybody. Right Have a great Bye. time. Bye, Sarah. Bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye. Wait, Danielle has a bracelet. I do. <laughs> I can zoom. It needs a drop. So I'm, I'm warming up some wires so I can do a little drop from it. And probably I love that. that's the JDL signature. Yeah. It's like what like Sarah always says, um, she does something extra too. So I'm going to add maybe mm -hmm. like a, um, maybe put some on a wire like that and join them at the top and have that be another dangle. Can't have enough dangles, Very I cute. think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's, that's kind of what I'm playing with now. So that, that looks like a cute charm to me next to this one. I think that, yeah, Aquaman actually looks really nice next to that champagne tone. Yeah, <laughs> so pretty. Let's see, Deb's got her necklace finishing up. Jody, Jody showed us her bracelet. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm done. So pretty, Labradorite Aquamarine, oh. the, the, the AB oh. when you went up to get Lynn. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> Thank Such you. Just... Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Jody, and joining us. It was so special to get to meet you. I well, love meeting was, new bead friends. I was very excited to meet you all. I hope you'll come back and maybe you'll do a class at Sam's Bead Shop or literally oh, whatever absolutely. you want. <laughs> I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Um, well, we will we will send you a little texty text and yeah. get that on the book we'll set. Get something up to start thinking. Um, absolutely. Everyone, think, Great. Well, thank you so uh, much. Thank you. This is uh, such a pleasure. Um, and thank you to everyone who got to, who joined us today. Yeah, I feel so lucky that all of you shared an hour of your time today and even over an hour <laughs> today. <laughs> um, we're so grateful for folks who collaborated with us this last year and throughout the throughout the box. So this is so cool. Thank you all yeah. for joining us. I would like to give a shout out to this human right here. <laughs> Yay. This, I, she deserves a full round of applause. Let yes. me zoom out. <laughs> Let me just give you a glimpse of what she does. She's going to hate this. What do you want to do? <laughs> Nothing that crazy. <laughs> but just, it's a full process to put the bead box together. Um, so let me, there we go. So it all starts like we, Rachel comes up with lots of theme ideas. Rachel reaches out to our collaborators to see who's even interested in doing one, figure out the schedule for it. That's just like step A. And then she starts, once we start to pick the themes and pick when in the year they go, because we, we have to make a whole lineup for the year. Um, we currently have a, like, we, we currently basically know what the rest of the year looks like, uh, just to make sure there's lots of distinct themes. Uh, 
she then, she does these deep dives. She'll take a theme and she will make a whole mood board. She'll find beads, she'll find photos, um, anything just to get us to get a feeling of what the box will look like. And she has, Shar and I respond to it and we're like, ooh, that's, that really makes sense for the theme. Or we like this. And we try to give her like our favorite so she can take those. And then she does like, like a 2.0 and then a 3.0. And it like <laughs> step by step, she, she finds the check. And she scouts gems and often I'll help scout the gems. Uh, we got to find the medals. And since now tier cast has closed, we're like, we're very much forward thinking of like what medals will we have in the box? Obviously there's Greek medals and there's more. And so we're, that there's always equations to figure out. And then you have like the operation side of it. She <laughs> has the beads start arriving. <laughs> the beads, we basically have beads for the box arriving every week. Yeah. Mostly from the Czech Republic. We get boxes and boxes uh, shipped to us. And they from have, different suppliers and vendors. <laughs> and we work with our team here to get yeah. all those unboxed. We have to go through it just to make sure they even like made the right bead. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> made the wrong bead before <laughs> we have to make sure they made the right quantity of the bead so we have to go through and weigh it or count it just like there's steps there we have been sent half we've been sent the wrong color like oh my goodness and so if something does go wrong which we basically assume one bead yeah <laughs> will always be askew every month um you just we and maybe it doesn't always happen but we assume something will, will bad will something hard will happen <laughs> And then we, Rachel then is the one who has to problem solve of finding another bead that we can get a bunch of very quickly. That is not a hard time, not an easy task. Um, she oversees making sure all the beads get bagged up on time. We've got a great team here. Getting them assembled and boxed and shipped on time. We have basically been able to ship every box um, by the 10th or the next business day, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. For every single box ever. <laughs> Um, if I was managing it still to this day, there would have been at least five late boxes by now. Um, so you guys could be happy that the more type A sibling of um, overseas operations, that was the very first thing we, I, we gave her responsibilities for. She has schedules and checklists and all these beautiful things that we love her for. Thank you, Sam. So thank you for making Sam's Beat Bucks happen, Rachel. I really appreciate it. Um, that. Thank you yeah. so much, Sam. You it, I'm lucky to work with this great team here with Sam, with Shira, with everyone here who makes it happen. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, a, that's the best part. Yeah. Jesse has to take a lot of photos when we launch the yes. extra. He's <laughs> yeah. like, more, here's some more things to photograph. <laughs> Jesse has a, is a busy guy yep. and he always has a great attitude. So there's just such a good like uh, vibe around the shop. Everyone wants to pitch in and make every make it all happen. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a village effort and the bead box is definitely led by Rachel. So thank you for bringing, for doing it so that everyone can have so much joy from the bead box. Well, th and thank you all for folks who are, who are subscribers. You guys are the reason we do this. You're what inspire us. So mm -hmm. a huge shout out to everyone who subscribes. Yeah. Stick around, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and if you are not subscribed, I feel like you got to tell people mm -hmm. where do they go? go what to coupon code Sam's, do they use? Yeah. I can, I have it here. <laughs> you go to samsbeadbox.com. I got it. Let's see, here we go. Samsbeadbox.com and use code VIP5 for five dollars off your first. No box. explanation point. Just VIP5. <laughs> Just those four characters. Um, yeah, we we'll hope we hope you'll give the the box a, a try if you haven't already. Who knows what'll happen in the next year? What what might come? <laughs> it's looking pretty. It's looking very pretty. Um, let me take this. There we go. Now we can see everyone. Awesome. So I think that's the end of the party. That's the end of the party. This has been a great party, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Deb and Danielle and Jody so and, and, and of course me. <laughs> Thank you for hosting, Sam. You're a great host. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deb. Thank you, everyone. We will uh, see you soon. I think our next live will be on Tuesday, our normal live sale. At 5 and with Pacific. Sarah Lovecraft, Tuesday morning. Yes, she's making with the box. Yeah, so um, even more inspiration coming. Yeah, yeah. And just search Sam's Bee Box on YouTube and you can add, there's a filter by like post in the last month. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way to see mm -hmm. what everyone is currently making and support yeah. all the YouTubers that make with the box. Uh, I have a dream of making playlists and things, but they all take... <laughs> 
time. But for now, just uh, search Sam's Beatbox and do a little filter and you can see what Jody's making and, and Deb and Danielle and like anyone who posts to YouTube. Uh, it's a great way to keep up because there's a lot of project ideas that come out every single month. Everything's and that's so the different. whole point of the box. Yeah. yeah, everyone has such different interpretations. It's so cool. So with that, Hope you all have a lovely weekend. As my Bye. grandpa ends the Zoom calls, <laughs> yes. he said, time to wrap it up. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.